former Accra Heart of Work coach Jones Atukwevio has passed on family sources and former um, working colleagues have confirmed his passing. So Jones was guided, um, who guided Accra Heart of Work to their first ever continental triumph in 2000, passed on today. Family so, um, relations say Calvin Bruce Atukwevio, a son of the former coach, says the family are preparing his body for the mug. This year marks some 14 years after he achieved that feat with Accra Hearts of Oak, a sad incident. It also comes a few days to Hearts' first um, leg calf Confederations Cup match against Esperance in Tunisia. One of the most respected coaches of his time, he guided Hearts to excessive domestic and continental triumph. He also coached Ghana's junior and senior national football team. So Jones, um, qualified Benin to its first ever Nations Cup appearance and he was 70. Right, so we go to the phone lines now and speak to Abukari Damba, former Black Stars goalkeeper. And um, Jones Atukefio, the late Jones Atukefio, coached him in the 80s. Um, Damba, thank you so much for joining me here on New Day. Um, not too good, but um, we're still hanging in. But um, how did the news of Jones uh, took a few passing on um, reach you? Well, thank you very much. Um, but before I can say anything, I think this uh, um, great son of Ghana needs a uh, short career, and I'm hoping and wishing him a safe journey wherever um, he might be going and wherever he finds himself. I'm expecting that we get like, uh, what we call it, uh, mercy from the good Lord Almighty. Um, Sir Patrick Jones, I took a few, who was popularly known as the Eter, was my coach in the national team. He coached me four years in the senior national team, the Black Stars, after which you know, I graduated into becoming a coach. Uh, and I worked uh, with him, or uh, I assisted him at the major level, that is the under 23 uh, national team. And I'm telling you, this is a gentleman who will always teach you whatever you are supposed to know. He will listen to you and he will take whatever advice that uh, you give to him. He never ever lauded himself over anybody and never made himself a boss over anybody. He always wanted a cordiality, he wanted a cooperation, and there was always a wonderful co collaboration with whoever he worked with. So, just a quick review, we are going to, uh, to miss him a lot, but what can we say? This is a natural calling, and this is a journey that everybody will embark on, and I only can wish him a happy and a safe journey to his final destination. But, um, Damba, if you can tell me, what, what were he coaching you um, during your days in the Black Stars? What were your fondest memories of Jones? Well, my fondest memory of Coach Jones. As a player, you know, there was a little bit of a period between us because he was a coach and we were players. But when I graduated into becoming a coach, Sir Cecil Jones would call me to his room in the company of Primpon Manso. Every single day in the morning, we go to wake him up, then we share one or two things, then he will ask us the training today, what are we supposed to do? He will always ask myself and prepare man so when he hears from us, he will say, Okay, that is wonderful. But I want us to do A, B, C. So you take charge of this and you take charge of that. So afterwards we will laugh over get some small, small, small things. And after every training session, we will all have a round table sitting after dinner. So we can take a bottle of Coke or a bottle of Fanta and discuss or deliberate over everything that happened in the day. Our personal problems, he was prepared to listen to. So he was more than a father. He uses those at a huge loss. It's a great loss. But all the same, we can take, you know, consolations from the fact that he really you know, tutored us and taught us what it meant to be professional. And for that, I will ever, ever remember the But 
um, if, if I should ask, do you think Jones was celebrated enough um, as a nation show to its national heroes? Of course, I am saying that if um, Trump of Ghana deserves in my opinion, the state area. Because this is a man who did it at the local scene after I had to go. He did it as a player. He played football to the highest level. He performed it as a player. And as a coach domestically, he did what no coach could ever do. And as a national uh, coach, he did it to the top. Went outside the shores of Ghana in Benin and he made his mark. What else can we say about the subject that we could feel? Whether you are a competition coach or, other, or whether as a development coach, I think this son of Ghana needs a needs a state area. And I only hope that this will be accorded to him because it will sit well with him in his grave. Okay, thank you very much, Abukari Damba, who um also was under um the late Jones at Tukwe Fio. Um we're also trying to get um, in touch with Prosper Harrison Addo, who is um, um, the personal assistant to the late Jones Atukwefio. But if you're um, joining us now, former Heart of Oak coach Jones Atukwefio has passed on family sources and former working colleagues have confirmed his passing. So Jones, who guided Accra Heart of Oak to their first ever continental triumph in 2000, passed on today. And I'm Calvin Bruce Atukwefio, a son of the former coach, says the family are preparing his body for the mock. So this year marked some 14 years after he achieved that feat with a cry heart to vogue. A sad incident. It also comes a few days to Hart's first leg Calf Confederations Cup match against Esperance in Tunisia. One of the most respected coaches of his time. He guided a cry heart to vogue to successive domestic and continental triumph. He also coached Ghana's junior and senior national football teams. Jones qualified Benin to its first ever Nations Cup appearance and he was um, 70 years. Okay, so we are um, saying we're wishing the family um, our condolences here from um, TV3, but also the late Jones Atukifu coached Great Olympics. And um, in 1982-1984, he was the then GFA vice president and also assistant coach um, in 1985-1987. Um,